Well, goodness me, I've now decided to do a sequel to the series on Stalin and the terror because it seemed to me a, a great opportunity to um, have a look at some past exam questions and see how we would use the material that we're uh, analysing uh, in answering those questions. So let's see how we, we go with that. In looking at these past questions, I'm going to continue with my comparison of the Stalin and Hitler regimes. Even if the questions specify different regions, though, of course, that's something you should spot in your reading of the question. And before I begin, I would urge you to read your questions carefully and to plan your answers. Practice planning answers using no more than 24 words. There's nothing magic about that number. I just think it limits you and prevents you from over-elaborating your plans and taking up too much time. Now, you are perfectly capable of reading these slides yourself. So I'm going to focus on a key couple of things for each question. I offer a possible approach to each of the questions. Please be clear that in each case, it's only one approach that could be made. There are other choices. The important thing is that you show that you think about your history and you're not simply regurgitating learnt facts. And in this question, um, you will see that the instruction appears right at the beginning. Compare and contrast. And it is a very general question, giving you options, but at the same time requiring you to make choices. So those choices need to be made quickly in your planning phase. The second question, again, the instruction comes at the beginning and it, it takes us back to our question C in, in the IGCSE exams. To what extent? And that means you must reach a judgment. For the third question, note uh, the focus in questions. Um, the focus here is on the successful control of opposition. And note in, in, my, um, in, in my outline of the way I would respond to the question, the way I emphasize explaining explain why uh, things were seen to be important, how they were applied and the effect that they had. Explain why, how and to what extent they were important. That's what I write. These are the things that should be explained. And it's in explaining that you will get your, your marks. Like the last question, uh, note how in these kind of questions that begin with a quote, the instruction will come after the quote. And in both these uh, last two questions, the instruction has been for you to discuss something. And a discussion has two sides to it. Do remember that. And note again how I how I write, it's important to think about and explain. And, um, and then I go on to, <laughs> to, to outline what it is important to think about and explain. Um, that's where your marks are. And then uh, in uh, the next question, uh, Sometimes you have to focus on just one key word in a question and, and not overlook it. And I think 
the key word in this question is impact. You need to think about what is meant by impact. And the question asks you to evaluate or instructs you to evaluate the impact of domestic policies on the maintenance of power. Now, in some questions, it is quite right for you to challenge the assumption of the question if you think it's right to do so. And you might think the impact of domestic economic policies wasn't as great as other issues, other factors. And so you can challenge the assumption that the question has uh, that uh, places its focus on economic policies. And finally, um, I have a question here. We're back to the instruction being at the beginning. We've got another to what extent, so do reach a judgment. Um, but here there's a word that, uh, that I think gives us an opportunity uh, to write uh, a, a really strong introduction. And it's authoritarian. To what extent was authoritarian control achieved? And it gives you that, intro, that, um, that opportunity to explain just what is meant by authoritarian. Give yourself a working definition. Um, it will earn marks for your introduction and it, it, it sets the tone of your essay and it um, gives your essay its direction. And so I hope you find that um, skills exercise, exam skills exercise, uh, particularly useful for your own exam. I would say right now, good luck with that exam. Cheers.